Howdy y'all, I'm Hunter Walker with Hunter's Ammo and Camo and it is Firearm Friday again. And guess what, we have a real treat for you here. A little history lesson going on here. I like history. So this is a Remington Model 760 Game Master, okay? There's a lot of variations out there on this one. This one is actually the BDL version, um, if I am correct, because it does not have a comb here. It just has a standard comb, it's not a raised one. And it has a certain style of engraving with an ebony tip anyways on the forehead really cool here this rifle originally came with iron sights can't really tell but yes there was an iron sight there and an iron sight here really cool this one does have an aftermarket scope and a loophole base rings actually really nice um so the remington model 760 game master this one is chambered in 30-06 which is the original caliber they made a slew of calibers throughout the year this is a, a really, really good rifle. This is actually a pump action rifle. A lot of people don't realize they do make pump action rifles. As you can tell, really nice pump action. Really cool deer rifle. It has dual action bars, um, which means your slide arm right here, you got one right here, and then of course you got one on the other side as well, which helps tremendously with stability and vice versa. A lot of your shotguns only have one. Um, Anyways, this also has 14 locking lugs. Let's see if we can kind of help you out here. If you see the little lugs in there on the bolt head, there's actually 14 of them, and they rotate like an AR bolt, which is a lot of locking lugs in order to have a, some great, really good strength for these high-powered calibers. Um, really cool there. Um, as you can kind of see how it rotates in there a little bit. This also it does have a dust cover. Um, this one's plastic, but some of them did have metal ones, and they literally just sit in there. So this is like the uh, the old man version of an AR, but pump action. Kind of really cool here. Does take a magazine. It takes a four round magazine. Of course, you know you can use different magazines for different calibers. Some of them interchange, some of them don't. You know, kind of standard. So this is a really nice. Uh, rifle. Um, they were made between 1952 to 1981. This particular model uh, or serial number was from 1968 to 1975. Um, I did not realize but there was uh, several shootings <laughs> with this particular model throughout the years. Uh, this gun was involved in and everything like that and they made over 1 million of these rifles in different calibers and so forth. Um, it is really really neat. Um, so this is a pretty cool history lesson here. One thing is, um, you can notice that you still have the two trigger pins right here for your trigger group. Just like an old 870, Remington really tried to go universal with a lot of their rifles and shotguns and things like that. So a lot of the newer and older models actually interchange a little bit. So that is a cool feature to know. Um, so this is what we have here today. I'm Hunter Walker. Thank you and goodbye.